Hello friend, welcome. On the screen is our Java chess game developed in Eclipse. Okay, so in the last video we implement um we implemented the, the listen button uh, to spawn a background thread running our circuit server, right? And we use okay, let's try it. Um uh, clean up this one. Command and L. Oh. Control L, sorry. Yeah. And uh, if we click this button, right, the UI is not blocked and the server is running. The UI is not blocked. Yeah, we can still move a piece here. And uh, uh, a new thread is spawned, right? And uh, the server is running, um, uh, is listening on pod. 50,000 and we use this command line tool NC to test it right here is the address of this machine and uh, the computer and here this is the port number so we can get the um, this uh, content sent from through the socket you see sending a move to client um let's add our let's add our uh label here server server like that and uh now let's try it again command q to quit and run again now listen and uh and see local cost local host fifty thousand yeah mm -hmm. oh here yeah we got from server and uh to client sending okay let's add a server here why do we need that we'll see okay we will see. Now let's try it again. Listen. Server is listening to that. Okay. Now, NC localhost the fifty thousand. Yeah. Server sending a move to client. Okay. Now we use this uh, terminal app, right, to talk with this app, the chess app. Now it's time to implement the connect button to so we can use the, the app itself to t as the client. Okay, so we don't need that. Show three is here, right? After we click this guy, connect, connect. We are running the code here. So now we here is the place to create a client socket okay let's do it so one, oh by the way java i don't know when starting right what time uh did java introduce this this var things is a small improvement let's let's give it a try here so it means because this one is duplicated with that right so we can use var here this is really trivial yeah, and uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, so now here let's create our um a socket, the client socket. Okay, so socket equals new socket. So it. The server socket is complicated, right? For the ser socket server, we need a listener first. Then the listener is blocking the thread waiting there using accept, right? The, the accept method returns a socket to be used um, later on. But on the client side, we use the socket to connect 
and here right to an address and uh, port so address localhost localhost and the port we know 50 50,000 what is that surround with um, try catch okay and uh, I O unknown host aha uh -huh. so I think we can use I O exception to include the other one okay so now with the new socket we can use that to read anything from the server and the easy way is we can define the, an input string this way so it's new and we will use a scanner to wrap this input string socket dot get input string like that now we can display the the content from this input string this way okay so from server in the next line like that why is it complaining um, oh if I double click I said uh, I guess I said a lot uh, debug breakpoint there we don't need that so save it what is the oh socket it's never closed okay and uh, let's don't worry about that for now and uh, let's try our code okay command Q so now we need the two of them the first one is that and the second one now let's see we have two of them make this one a little bit smaller so then yeah put it here now the top one is the server listen and the the smaller one is kind of let's click connect okay console only displays um, the output of this app so where is the output of this app is here is this small icon okay so if we click that you can we can switch right to the other one is it here connect um clicked and the from server you see from server we get that how can we display both of them side by side uh, let's click here open console new console view and uh, let's put them side by side mm. move it to here uh, why is it so oh okay so it means we can put it here together then we can drag this guy to the right drag this guy to the right of that yeah so now this let's switch this to the server 
Now try it again. Uh, if we click connect, right, you will connect to create a socket. Uh, connecting to the server. Click. Yeah. Oh. Um. By the way, here we you will switch back to the server console. Okay. Let's try it again. Click. Okay. How can we? How can we make it not right? Switch to there. We can use this guy. Pin console. Okay. Now that's clear. This one and uh, here and try it again. Um, connect right. Connect. We want. We want to read the content from our socket server here. Connect. Connect. Right. So here the server um, got the connection from the socket client, and the server send out this. Send out this. This is the output stream. Um, so, for example, here we are using in yeah input string, right? So here is the output string. The input string on the client side receive the data. This part, right? This is from the server. Great. So now we don't need this guy because we have our own socket client. So close it. Yeah. So that's it. We build the socket connection between right two instances of our same chess app. Thank you for watching. See you next time.